And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kaz Has. My name is Kaz Vaughn, and this is One Last Dance for the Capitalist Pigs. It is a game developed by Grayson Diaries. It is made by one man who I will not try and pronounce his name because I can't. I tried. It, I'm not even going to do that. Um, but it's developed by a guy who actually works at Ubisoft Montreal, formerly Ubisoft Paris. And uh, that's... It's all me made in a spare time, and it's actually really quite cool. So let's take a look at it. I'll just start from the beginning here. Watch it load up. So here we are. We're this uh, black and white, grayscale, bored looking guy. He's uh, lounging around watching television. And he, the game is based upon a group of pigs who control this town, basically. Um, <laughs> Some of it is still actually in French, but that's okay. Uh, he's bored, watching this television show. I'm not going to spoil the story so much, but essentially, it's a television show featuring the poor people of the community and giving them a chance to turn their lives around by winning this show. And so now his television is telling him where it's broadcast from because your character's motivation is to get rid of those pigs because he's disgusted by the idea of that television show. And hopefully, it'll let me get control. Here we go. So here I am in my apartment. As you can see, it's very low poly, but pretty decent texture. I mean, I think that's going to be the new kind of thing that we see from indie titles is with the prevalence of Unity and such, it'll be lower polygon higher higher resolution textures than something of like a playstation but i don't know it's kind of cool it looks nice it's very it's really wildly colorful but it's pretty coherent all overall but anyway here's our first little um no i never even saw that before here's our first little tutorial we have to get out this door and it's basically a puzzle game where we need to go up to these little panels hit action and you can see our little hands shuffling up the side it's kind of weird how you uh, your perspective shifts as you try and climb up. Uh, we can jump. We have that, like, I, it sounds like Quake. <laughs> the Quake jump. I like the Quake jump. That's always interesting. And then uh, we spend a lot of time actually sneaking around. So this is really just kind of the tutorial. So my goal is to hit this button to open up the door. But I really, I, this game is only an hour long, so I'm not going to go too, too far into it. I just kind of want to show it off because it's been on Game Jolt for a while, but it hasn't had a whole lot of plays, and I think it deserves a lot more attention because it's pretty darn well done. So now we're kind of in the open world, and we get the late title screen. It's pretty neat. I really like how it is low poly, and there's a lot of right angles, but the way it arranges all of the buildings relative to one another, it's like kind of wacky and weird, and it's really cool. So there's a lot of jumping puzzles. A lot of traversal kind of puzzles, which is another reason why I don't really want to go too, too far. But it's it's pretty neat. I like the story uh, as far as I've seen. I haven't gotten... I, I believe the game is an hour long. I've gotten about 45 minutes in. But here we go. We raise that platform just by hitting this button. And it lets us know. So basically we just got to go back here. Whoop. I wonder what kind of shoes he's wearing. It sounds kind of like when he lands. Wearing some boots or something. Some hard sole boots. But yeah, here's this town. It's really, really bizarrely... Everything is just very strange. And like wildly colorful. And that's the television studio, I believe. So to get there... We can talk to this chicken if we want. This is a... Uh, this is a shop. And uh, this guy actually um, echoes some of the undertones of the game. Hello, stranger, and welcome to my shop where we find everything but only what we need. Hello, I don't see any shelves here. What exactly do you sell? So this is the first reasonable shop you find, sir? I guess. Allow me to explain. For too long, people have been slaves of the capitalist slaughtering machine, manipulated into consumerists, enslaved for the profit of the new bourgeoisie. Publicity, sales, shelves, shares. All tools will be... <laughs> All, all tools that will make our beheaded skulls the new fashionable products of the Mega Mall of Hell. But let us not submit to pessimism. For us, the people, have the power to stop the oppression 
of capitalism. So it means it's all free? No, it means I'll only sell you what you need. There are no shelves, no publicity, no sales. Exactly. So it's a shop with nothing in it. <laughs> it's kind of a commentary on the... Uh, I don't even know exactly how that works. It's really strange, man. <laughs> it's like got undertones of communist ideals and cap... Like, very drastic capitalist ideals. And it's very, very strange. So here's the bar, I believe. Yes, it's the bar, and there's a dance floor. We can get down if we want to, but I believe to continue, we actually have to stay up here. It's a pretty good spot for a bar. I mean, it kind of forces everybody who like lives over here to walk through the place, so... They're probably more inclined to just stop and get a drink. Here's a nice little hangout spot. All these areas do come into play later. It's just kind of... I think the whole idea is just to kind of show off the whole place so you know all the different locations right away so here's a cat it's kind of a jerk hello and welcome to the fortune wheel that's what i call enthusiasm the fortune wheel offers dreams to the entire rifts or neighborhood don't you think it's very it's a very exciting place dreams i only see the misery of the fools who play and lose to that crook porcinet rudy chance <laughs> i i i I'm from the Midwest. I don't know how to pronounce some things. I'm sorry. I'm ignorant. Sir Rudy Chance is no crook. His heart is good. I could tell you. I know nothing. I could tell you know nothing about the pig. It's true. I've never met him. Do you think I have that chance? He might help me change my mind. I'm sorry, but he barely ever leaves his apartments on the top of the building. He doesn't want to be disturbed. I need to get a. I need to find a way around this dog. All right. Here's a vending machine. I don't think we can use it. Let's see. So here's the pigs. Surfing the internet. Can't tell. I think it's a... Oh, I can't read that. Is it like friend book? Some kind of Facebook analog. Jean-Louis. Damn, it's so hot in here. Aren't you hot? Maybe we should open the window. It's been five minutes and you'll tell me the, co the window is open and we're going to be too damn cold. Oh, come on, we're dying here. It's like swimming in Sarah's double espresso. I can feel half my body. I think I'm starting to melt. Whatever. <laughs> I just really love, like, once again, low polygon, but it's still got a lot of character to it. Especially, those are kind of creepy looking pigs. Even though they're all colorful, they're, they're really creepy. So here's the first major puzzle you get. The idea is to hop around this building. Well, mostly climb around this building. And I just like that you can see your hands just like, ooh. That's how climbing works. Oh. Face plant there. All right, now where do we got to go? Oh, we got to jump. Over here. Climb here. Then we get to hang over the edge, and our perspective falls back. It's very, very weird. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna finish up this little puzzle and leave it up to you to check out the rest because I don't want to, I don't want to give away too too much because it is, in the end, it is really a first-person puzzle game with this just bizarre story and really colorful art style that I I really really like. Oh, here we go upside down. Oh yeah. Oh geez. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Get on up here. Slide over. Uh, the platforming I've experienced so far is not too, too difficult. You can, anything like long, like long jumps, you can usually just make it. So as long as you go full speed and just jump at the last second, you know. There hasn't been any, anything just like super difficult. I think it's just to make traversal a little more interesting rather than be like a huge challenge. Let's see kind of precariously hanging off the edge of this building. Let's find her feet. There we go. Get up, man. Get up. There we go. Hmm. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Climb up. Get up there. Oh, and there's a space whale. Because, you know, capitalism. 
Let's get down here. And I believe... I also like that you can see your body. It's kind of a weird thing to enjoy, but it's cool. Let me just do a little Spider-Man move and just hop right onto the side of this. I believe I have to go straight down. I thought there might be a secret. Uh, later on, there are puzzles where it's... There's one where it's an objective where it's like, I need four of something, but there's eight of them in the world. If you collect all eight, you uh, go above and beyond. It's an extra little challenge, but it's like not required. It's a lot. It's really hard to collect all those. Let's see here if I can get down. Yeah, boom. And I believe there's the window. Yeah. There's that window. I'll try something on the mechanism. Say, Genie, it's gotten real fresh around these parts of my desk here and over there. Maybe I should close a window. What was I saying? You and your bloody window. Yeah, I'll shut it. Oh no! Dude broke the window. You only had time to screw one thing. So now, they'll open this passage so we can escape. But now we have a way in. But the problem is. We have no way to actually uh, take care of those guys, so this rabbit in the trench coat will tell us just how to do that. But I don't want to spoil that part, because it's really, really weird. <laughs> this whole game is really, really weird. So hopefully I was able to show off enough of this for you to be interested. Um, I hopefully, hopefully I didn't spoil much either. I kind of tried to avoid to talk to like the bar people and stuff, but uh, yeah. That is one last dance for Capitalist Pigs. It's pretty good, it's free, and it's on GameJolt.com. I will leave a link in the description below for you to try it out yourself. I'm also gonna leave a link to the, kind of the blog of the creator, cause he's got some really interesting stuff posted about game design and stuff, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, if you're into that kind of stuff, you might wanna look at it. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna hang out with my, uh, my television and my, I don't know, he kinda looks like a pedophile rabbit. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.